God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. How are you doing? I hope you're fine. Um, let's pray. Father, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you honor for your sons. I thank you for your daughters. I say, be thou exalted forever in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask so God that you will speak to each and every one that is listening to the sound of my voice right now. In the name of Jesus, cause them to receive the ability of the Spirit. Let their eyes open. Let their ears open to hear you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let every barrier be terminated now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So, um, during our uh, dream interpretation, I said something that I was going to come and, and share um, a teaching. Because I discovered that a lot of people are asking questions. And one of the major questions they are asking is some of the signs that they are receiving during prayer. Alright? Some persons during prayer, they feel the sensation of fire. Sometimes during prayer, they feel like the wind, like the wind entering into their ears and their ears want to remove. Some people feel itches in the eyes. So that is what I want to talk about now. So I'm talking about um, some other signs, some other prophetic signs and what they actually decode or, or connotes. Okay, now, so um, if you look at First King chapter 19, 1 King chapter 19 from verse 11 to 18, a time came where the prophet um, Elijah, he went to the mountain to look for the voice of God. He went to hear God. And so when he got to the mountain, the Bible said that the, the, a, a strong wind came, a strong wind passed. He was looking forth to see God in the wind, but God was not in it. He saw earthquake happened. And an earthquake happened, he thought that that was God. It was not God. The Bible said another um, wind a cold breeze passed it was not there god was not in it fire passed god was not in it then a still small voice then a still small voice now there is something that the prophet missed when he was on the mountain and that was the fact that the voice of god that had been coming to him has not been coming to him in form of an earthquake it has not been coming to him in form of a wild wind. It has not been coming to him in form of fire. But how come is this young man looking, is, is the prophet now looking for the voice of God inside the fire? So some persons, now that wind that is entering your ear, some persons are expecting to hear the voice of God through the wind that is entering the ear. But the voice of God is not in the wind that is entering your ear. The voice of God is not in the itches that it, it doesn't. When your eyes itching, it does not mean that you, this physical eyes is going to see or see something. When this ear start receiving that, it doesn't mean that that ear, this literal ear, is going to hear God. Are you hearing me? Now, what those signs mean is that the voice of God is available. It simply means that the voice of God is already available. So there are people who concentrate on trying to hear with these ears once the air start entering and they try to see with these eyes when the eyes start itching but the voice the still small voice is already speaking in their heart it's already speaking in the mind remember I, I spoke something about it if you if you look at some of the teachings i've thought i've thought about the mind and, and stuff like that now elijah was expecting to hear god through the wind but the voice was in the mind a still small voice a still small voice all right so anytime you receive that sign it's a sign that the prophetic is available but it doesn't mean that the prophetic is going to come through these ears are you hearing me it is it, it's, it's not coming through there it's going to come as a still small voice and it's going to come here so sometimes you may hear god and you will think it's this ear that heard it because of the audibility of it but it is not this one all right it is still the, the, the ears of your spirit, which is connected to the mind that heard it, but it will be very loud. To some persons, it becomes very loud that it's as if you heard it with this ear, this literal ear. All right? So the, the, the open vision becomes so clear that it looks as if it was this eye that saw it, but it is not this eye. Are you getting what I'm saying? So your focus should not be on the signs, the prophetic signs you receive. Sometimes you feel a very hot sensation on your forehead. It's a sign of the prophetic. It means the prophetic is strongly available. All right? So your connection should not be 
on that direction trying to wait and to see with his eyes but your connection to be you look inward are you getting me if you look in your you are going to get the message who can instruct the lord but the bible said for we have the mind of christ all right he said who had the mind that of christ that can instruct the lord all right you can go and search for that scripture he said but we have the mind of christ which means how do you how do you what does that mean it means that when you have that mind the mind of christ you you now know the things of god for you to be able to express it i get what i'm saying so it is it is those who who have the mind of christ that can get access to the instruction of god all right so the moment you are born again and uh, you 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 follow the principle of christ all right, there are basic principles you follow into the prophetic. You, it doesn't just happen. All right, it doesn't just. They were first called disciples before they became apostles. All right, so there is a place of discipleship. There is a place of discipline. All right, the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, I hope this was helpful. But I want you to know that when these signs come again, your focus should not be on the sign. Your focus should be on the voice. Your focus should be on the voice. What is happening inside of you? Are you getting me? What is happening in you should be your focus. Because the spirit, the realm of the spirit is available. Are you hearing me? The realm of the spirit is, is distance is not a barrier. Are you getting me? In the realm of the spirit, I can be here and travel to anywhere around the world and cities. The, the only thing we need to understand how this principle works. So you 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 know that if you have not watched some of, there are some teachings that will help you if you have not watched it you go back to go and watch it, and if you have gone through these teachings you have forgotten you have to watch it again and then if you have not you have to practice it so that you can see the result in your life. All right, I look forward to see you grow in the prophetic. I look forward to see to hear your testimony of you hearing the voice of God. I've been receiving a lot of testimonies um, over the weekend and um, I've been and. Uh, all the glory belongs to God. Are you hearing me? There are a lot of testimonies. So you need to start now. Until you practice, you cannot see the result. Until you practice, you cannot see the result. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is a barrier to you seeing vision to hear God, I declare it broken in the name of Jesus. I declare it broken in the name of Jesus. I declare it broken in the name of Jesus. There is a young man. Anytime... You, you are a prophet. You used to see in the realm of the spirit, but I'm seeing forces attacking you through your prophetic dream, through your prophetic vision. You used to see a lot. I declare right now those forces are arrested in the mighty name of Jesus. Your eyes is restored to see clearly and to prophesy in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. I'm going to see you in the next teaching. God bless you. Bye-bye.